me finish telling you about my class. Praise the woman of God. My professor said she was healed on the night the prophet told her she was healed. But it took her weeks for the healing to manifest physically because she needed to know it for herself. Look at your neighbor. Find a good one. Don't find just anybody because some folk ain't ready to come out yet. But find you somebody who look like they're ready to come out and they're ready to stay out. Look at them and say, neighbor, whether you receive it or not, tell them you just got freed right now. The anointing is in this room for you to be free right now. Lord, I feel Jesus. I'm trying to contain myself. Look at him and say, neighbor, even if you don't feel it, tell him you're free right now. But tell him you got to receive it in order for it to manifest. If you know your freedom, get ready to manifest. I dare you go to waving your hand and leaping on your feet and praising God because your freedom is here. Your freedom is here. almost everywhere I go I don't know if I've had the chance to do it here but I hear it in my ear so I want to obey God I want you to go find the person you're closest to in this room go get them quick I know it's uncomfortable oh well go get the person you're closest to run to them quick get out your seat run to them the person you're closest to in this room. It may not be the person you're closest to in the world, but it's the person I'm closest to in this room. Go get them. Come on, lady, if you feel all right. Come on. Everybody got somebody. You may, they may not be the person you're closest to in the whole wide world. But they're the person you're closest to in this room. Find them. That's right. I see children going to parents. Find them. Find them. I don't want you to be by yourself. I want you to find who are you closest to in this room. I still 
see you running. I still see you. Oh, Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Lord, breakthrough is in this room. I still see you moving. That's right. Come on, Mama Bishop. Come on up here. You ain't got to do all that. We try to help her up. Go on to your son. Because I see a breakthrough for your family. I prophesy God's going to save every one of your children. That God's getting ready to deal with the trauma of your house. That God's getting ready to cause peace and healing to come to your house. I rebuke everything of stress that have come to, to kill you and to be your demise. God said, let it go right now in the name of Jesus. While you were walking up here, I could see the freedom of God. You got so much of bearing on your heart, so much of bearing on your back, so much of bearing on your emotions, so many things you're worried about. You're worried about your children and you're worried about your family. And you got so many things on your mind, so much you want to do, but so much seems to be holding you back. But the devil is a liar. God's getting ready to set you free. God's getting ready to be your liberty in the name of Jesus. Lord, we got to move. Come on, church. You got that person? Aya. Now look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. That's all right. Let her praise. Look at him. You go to your person. She all right. Let her praise. Look at your person and say, listen. Tell them you know my story. Tell them you know what I've been through. Tell them you know what I've been weighing, what's been weighing on my heart. But say, guess what? Even though you know it, tell them get a good look at me. Tell them because God's getting ready to cast down every imagination. God's getting ready to cast down every evil thought. God's getting ready to cast down every evil work. And tell them God's getting ready to pull me to another place in him. Look at him and say, freedom is coming on me now. Tell them the anointing is coming on me now. And tell them, say, look at me real good. Because tell them I prophesy to myself that by the end of this year, when you look at me, I'm going to be free. I'm going to live in freedom. I'm going to walk in victory. I'm not going to shout. Tell them I'm going to have power over my emotions. In the name of Jesus Christ. You can't leave. 